I would say cyber defense is one of the fascinating fields you will ever see. It's a never ending battle between good and bad. As a cyber defenders, we are just soldiers in this warfare fighting for good. It is essential to learn something new every day to keep, to keep yourself alive in this battle. And today we are going to walk through, we are going to take up an interesting challenge in Trihackney and it's a blue team challenge. We got a log file and we're going to triage that log file by using a couple of tools called Wireshark and Brim. And we're going to find what sort of suspicion in that, in that log file, what exactly happened. We're going to address that. And in Trihackney exercise, they gave few questions by investigating that, by triaging that log, we're going to answer those questions. So without further ado, let's begin. War zone one, that's the Trihackney room name. We are going to practice. You can see the short description here. You received an IPS IDS alert. Time to triage the alert to determine if it's a true positive. So from this description, we can understand we are going to uh, analyze the log file. It's again a blue team exercise. Uh, let's get into this. I already spawned the machine by clicking start machine and I can simply reach that machine by clicking this show split window. Uh, while it is loading, let's go through. Yeah, it loaded. I am opening it in a separate screen just to access it conveniently. Here is the machine and you can see the log file called zone1.pcap. So this is the log file. Uh, you know, we have received from IPS IDS and we are going to triage this log file and gonna answer the questions that we've been asked. Okay, uh, here is the uh, challenge. Uh, your shift just started and your first network alerts comes in. All right. And here's the description. You work as a tier one security analyst L1 for a managed security service provider MSSP. Today, you are tasked to monitor network alerts. A few minutes into your shift, you get your first network case, potentially a bad traffic and uh, malware command and control activity detected. Your race against the clock starts, inspect the PCAP and retrieve the artifacts to confirm this alert is a true positive. And to solve this challenge, to triage those logs, that log file, uh, apart from the Wireshark, we are going to use tools like Brim and Network Miner. And in my exercise, when I was doing this, I used Brim and Wireshark. So I'm going to stick with those two tools, Brim and Wireshark. All right. So this is just a step to split the screen and uh, access the machine. Uh, I already did that. Let's see the first question. What was the alert signature for malware command and control activity detector? And they are asking for the alert signature for this specific activity. All right. Let's see the hint. Don't hesitate to read the hint if you are not sure what you are up against. Uh, the hint is Brim. So it is simple. So we have to use Brim tool. And apart from this PCAP file in the machine, you can see a folder called tools. So let me open the tools folder. And here I can see the Brim and Wireshark. Both the tools are there. I'm just double clicking and opening the Brim tool. Then I can import that uh, PCAP file into this Brim application in order to triage the log file. Uh, Wireshark, I mean, Brim is similar to Wireshark. It is used in the blue team uh, log analysis and the investigation. So here is the Brim page. I mean, here is the Brim, uh, Brim homepage. And by clicking the chose files, I can import the file. Let me go to the desktop zone1.pcap. Yeah, uh, it is loading based on that file size it will take the time let it load it's going to load it's going to take a while so let's see the second question what is the ip address and enter your answer in the defanged format hope we'll be getting the ip address too from the brim itself and the third question is we have to find the destination address and uh, that is also in the defanged format and you may use Cyberchef to defang the IP address as well. All right. Uh, here is the list of logs. They are actually, uh, it dissected this PCAP file and it is giving in the 
brim compatible and in this format so this is the format in which the brim shows the logs all right so i am looking for the alert actually so this is the keyword so i'm just filtering the specific alert value because we need to know the alert signature of the specific malware command and control activity all right now let let me see the alert category here so here is the alert category in the alert category i can see malware command and control activity detected so this is the activity we need and we need the respective alert signature if i see the adjacent column i can read the alert signature so it is nothing but et space malware mirror blast cnc activity and m3 uh, it looks like uh, it is a mirror blast malware so i'll copy this one this value and add it here and submit and that would be the answer and the next question is what is the source ip address and defined format so let's get the source ip address from this log itself i can see only one ip address here 172.16.1.102 i need to add this ip in the defanged format to defang it i am using cyberchef and the ip is 172.16.1.102 and uh, defang ip address this time all right i got the defanged ip let me add it here yes that's the right answer and what is the destination ip in this alert and we have to find the public it public address that's the destination right so this is the address i'm simply copying the value let me add the value here and i got the defanged format copy and paste this yes we got the destination ip too all right and the next thing is inspect the ip address in virus total under relations passive dns replication uh, topic which domain has the most detections enter your answer in the defanged format all right we have to find the respective domain name for this ip address so i am opening virustotal.com uh, here i am searching for that ip address and this time i need to add the actual ip address removing the defanged format yeah and here you can see 7 out of 96 security vendors flagging this ip address as malicious and or the mal malware i mean involved in malware activity so i am going to relations and passive dns replications so i hope so this is i mean that's where we need to search relations and passive dns replications which domain is detected most and here you can see in the detection there are 14 detection out of 96 for this specific domain and that domain is nothing but fidufegs.com pardon me if i am spelling it wrong but here is the domain um defang url this time all right yes that's the right answer moving to the next question still in virus total okay under community what the, what threat group is attributed to this ip address so let's move to the community tab and here we have to find threat group so moving to the community and here in the community i can see it says it's mirror blast but here the number of characters are 5 i also got the threat actor id ta505 so let me disable this for a while and here you may see it is mirror blast threat actor 505 so that's the id of the threat actor so let me paste that here yes that's the right answer and what is the malware family we have just seen it we have just seen it and it is nothing but mirror blast so that should be the answer so yes that's the answer moving to the next question uh, do a search in virus total for the domain from question number 4 what is what was the majority file type listed under the communicating files all right so i need to search for this specific domain now search for this domain
and here what was the majority file type listed under communicating files here is the communicating file section the majority file type listed so here you can see the file type and windows installer and ms excel spreadsheet are the two file types among these two windows installer found most of the time so that should be the answer here and yes it is um, moving to the next question inspect the web traffic for the flagged ip address what is the user agent in this traffic all right and so far we have used virus total and brim to answer the questions now we are going to switch it to wireshark and let's see the logs in the wireshark so that we can trace the traffic and we'll be able to retrieve the user agent for the specific malware traffic and it loaded whenever i open wireshark i used to check this file properties first in the statistics option and here i can see the number of packets captured and also the time the duration how long the the, the capture ran and uh, you can see the time duration between these two and it ran for 5 minutes 45 seconds 1800 i mean 1808 packets were captured all right so this is the file property going once again to the statistics to see the protocol hierarchy it will be giving uh, the list of protocols involved in this packet capture briefly so we'll be having an idea what sort of application logs it is and you can see from this uh, it actually poses the web application traffic hypertext transfer protocol so this is the web application traffic along with uh, uh, another traffic remote procedure call and distributed computing environment all right uh, all we need is this http the web traffic i'll say okay now let's filter this filter the http traffic alone and uh, here we need to find the user agent right so let's crisp, crisp this filter further uh, i'm crisping it so to crisp that further i'm simply filtering it with the destination ip address so i'm applying it as a filter and uh, yeah here it is so i'll change the ip address to that malicious destination so it will be giving okay um yeah here it is i'm pasting this through this clipboard all right i pasted it let me remove this defanging brackets all right now i can see that respective malware traffic i am simply clicking one of the packets and following the tcp stream when i follow the tcp stream uh, in the request header i can see the user agent and its value so here is the user agent and also the format supports here as a format and uh, yes that's the right answer moving to the next one retrace the attack there were multiple IP addresses associated with this attack. What were two other IP addresses? Enter the IP addresses defanged and in numerical order. So they are asking for two other IP addresses involved in this. Um, let's move to the brim itself. And they are giving a hint. So they are asking for the two other IP addresses. So let's read, let's try to get the other IP addresses involved in this. I am simply clicking the HTTP request here and let's try to scroll down. And when I scroll down, I can see apart from this 169, 239, 128, 11, I can see four other IP addresses. So let me copy those IP addresses one by one and I am putting it in a notepad. And here it is. Now I copied and pasted the remaining four IPs here. Let me 
convert let me defang these urls sorry these ip addresses defanging the ip addresses and i got the defanged format now i'm gonna fetch the ips from this list and put two of the ips and try so let me try the first two ips and uh, this one it must be two of these four it is not the right answer i'm replacing the first ip with this one and uh, when i try this yes looks like we found the remaining two ips that they are asking and uh, here is the ip let me mention those two ips separately so these are the two ips we're going to use these two ips to answer our further questions and let's see the next question what were the file names of the downloaded files enter the answer in the order to the ip address in the previous question okay so this is the order the first ip and the second ip now we have to get the name of the file which is downloaded from this ip and to get that i am moving to the wireshark capture in the wireshark capture i am simply filtering the destination ip address and uh, i hope i'll be able to get the file name 185.10.68 185.10.68.235.235 and yeah this is the ip and i'm right clicking and following the tcp stream to get the file name downloaded and uh, here i can see in the http response the file name is mentioned and the file name is nothing but filter.msi so let me mark it somewhere over here yeah, filter.msi and now I need to check the file name for the second IP. I mean, the file downloaded from the second IP. 192.36.27 192.36.27 dot 92 dot 92 all right i hope i can see the file name here in this dcp stream and yeah here the request itself request for this specific msi file msi is a file in windows actually it is used in windows it's a windows executable similar to dot exe file and you can see the response is positive so i guess this should this could be the file we are looking for so let's try to answer this and yeah that's the right answer and now we have to inspect the traffic for the first downloaded file from the previous question two files will be saved to the same directory what is the full file path of the directory and the name of those two files so what they are saying from each of these IP addresses, apart from these files, there are two more files downloaded and those files added in the same directory. We have to find those two files downloaded from this IP and this IP in the respective questions. Uh, we have to find that and uh, I mean we have to find the respective answers for the next two questions. So let's get the first IP address here. I am again going to filter this IP address. But before I do that, I can simply look for, I, I can simply try to answer for the last question because we already filtered that respective traffic. So we'll be able to copy the response here. Now do the same inspect the traffic from the second downloaded file, which means the file downloaded from the second IP. The two files will be saved in the same directory and the same question. What is the full file path and the directory of the two files? All right. Now, I already filtered that. I am right clicking this and following the TCP stream once again. And uh, it will be giving the TCP stream, the entire stream data. I am pressing Ctrl A to select all and copying that stuff and pasting it in a notepad. So it will be easy for me to search. So let me copy that once again. I didn't copy it properly. 
what the what happened i am unable to copy one second i am just trying to copy this i copied it yes i pasted it successfully now and i just scroll down and i here i can see a path and the respective file name so let me mark this in a separate sheet hope here i can mark and i need to find another file name another file which is also added in the same directory and the directory is program data local google so i am looking for another file which is added in the same directory and if i see in the next line i can see the file name example example.rb i guess that could be the file name we are looking for so both the paths are same program data local google program data local google and the file name only differ differs so this would be our answer so let's try that let's try to add it in the last question yes that's the right answer now let's try to find the traffic for the stream the tcp stream for the first ip so i am simply adding the filter for the destination ip again and replacing this ip with the 185 10 68 235 185 10 68 235 i hope that's the right answer right ip 185 10 68 235 all right the ip matches searching the traffic for that ip yeah now i am again looking for the tcp stream following the tcp stream i am getting bunch of data yes i am getting the bunch of data i am pressing control here to select all and copying it i am going to search for that specific files in a same manner let me copy this once again yeah pasted it perfect the same way i scroll to the down and uh, here i can see c colon backward slash program data obviously it's a path in windows operating system and i hope i found one file called arab.bin which is added in the folder and the folder is program data 001 so i'm going to look for another file that is also added in the same path and uh, i hope if i can see that here look at this arab.exe and also there is another file arab underscore sorry action one underscore arab.exe but let me try this first the path is same that is clearly given two files will be saved in the same directory so let me copy this and paste it for this file as well comma all right now i hope i got the answer yes i did uh now we just investigated a malicious ips ids traffic and uh, we got the pcap file and we used the tools like brim and wireshark to triage the log file and we found the suspicious mirror blast command and control activity and we retrieved its source and destination address the respective domain the threat actor identification number and the malware family and also we found it is deploying the windows installer from these two ips and also the file names and apart from these two files it also downloads some additional files and adds it in the c drive of the windows system so we found so many details through this activity through this uh, exercise and with this the specific war zone log triaging ends and uh, yes this is what i exactly wanted to showcase i hope you really enjoyed learning this uh, infection of remote access trojan if you really did hit the like button consider subscribing my channel if you have any other opinion put it in the comment section i'll be reading your questions and answering your valuable questions and, you, and also you can share this video among your friends
I'll catch you next time with another exciting video. Until then, I'm signing off. Cheers and I love you all. Thank you so much.